Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back. I hope y'all are doing well. We are going to do another flip through. So we are in July, no, we're in August now. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my brain these months. Just, oh my gosh, what a crazy, crazy summer we've had. Um, so last time, this is what happened, okay? I made a boo-boo. I don't know what happened. <sighs> I, I just, we're just gonna move on, okay? Normally, what I do at the end of the month is I um, have a pocket on this page to hold my uh, header stickers and other ephemera. I failed to do that for some reason. I always like starting the month on this page. So I don't know if the page is like stuck together. Like, I don't know what happened, but I ended up doing July 31st on this page. It was just a mess. Anyway, I fixed it. Everything is fixable. So, um, this was actually on a Monday. Yes, we had gotten back from our two-week vacation on, um, you know, Sunday, the day before. So, when I got home, we received our mail. And, oh my goodness, I my mailbox was full of happy mail. So, I had a big thank you to Dawn, Anita, Laura, Cindy, and Josie. And, oh, it was just wonderful to come back to that. So it was a happy mail day. Uh, it was also obviously a bed day. If you guys aren't aware, um, whenever you see a bed on my page, it's because I'm having a flare or I'm not feeling well. So I always like to put a pretty bed on my page just to, um, you know, brighten things up even though I'm not feeling well. So my day had started out okay. I was working in my jot journal um, and then I started getting dizzy again. So I ended up just in bed and trying to read Memoirs of a Geisha. Um... And then later on, we had to pick up the pups from boarding, ka-ching, yeah, because they were gone, I, I don't even know how many days they were there, 14 days, I think, or something. So, oh yeah, and they came back so fat, like, I don't understand, I don't know what goes on when they're away from us, but yeah, they both came home little, looking like little piglets, <laughs> But she, our, our groomer and our boarder always takes really great care of our pups when we're gone. We're so thankful that we have that. Um, and then we had tacos for dinner and watched some Sopranos. And then the next day was August 1st. So that's right. Uh, I don't know if you recall, my sunshine uh, a month ago, we were busy um, sending out university applications and then he decided that he wanted to take a different turn with his future. So um, he would like to try to apply for um, a position out where my husband works as a nuclear operator helper. So uh, they don't come around, these positions don't come around very often, the postings for the jobs. And it can take up, take up to a year. And there is a whole crap ton of stuff involved in the process. So, anywho, that morning was the day of his big test. And my job, of course, as a mom, was being a worry wart because it was up in the city. My son has never driven to the city by himself. So, I was an anxious wreck for him. Um, and, of course, it was this huge test. And, it, you know, anyway... Uh, so that was a worrisome day. Um, but he made it up there. There was a bunch of um, mess ups along the way, not on his part. Uh, the like, he thought the test was at 10 a.m. It turned out the guy did not email him until that very morning after my son had already left to go take the test that the test was actually at 9 a.m. So thankfully, my son left early enough to get there on time. You know, here he was, you know, prepared to take this test, all mentally prepared and all that, and then come to find out that, you know, it was just a jam up. Let me tell you what, the poor thing. I felt so bad for him, but yeah. So that morning, you know, I was I was praying, 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 praying. So 
Then let's see. Um, oh gosh. Yeah. The fun never ends here. Let me tell you what we are bleeding money. Okay. Just hemorrhaging money. So last night, late last night, my son had gone into the ice box to get some ice cream out and realized that the freezer was broken. Like everything was starting to thaw. We didn't know what the problem was. And we were like, Oh crap. So we transferred all the food over to, we have an upright freezer outside. So we transferred all the food over and we might need to get a new refrigerator, which, you know, again, the whole money thing. So anywho, uh, my daughter's birthday was coming up in a week, but because it was August 1st at the beginning of the month, one of her presents that she had wanted was a day designer. My daughter is a planner. She plans everything, everything. So um, we went ahead and gave her her birthday present, one of her birthday presents, even though it was not Sunday, uh, which is her real birthday. Um, because you know, I wanted her to be able to start on the first. So she was really excited about that. And then let's see, this has a lot of flippy do's on it. So think positive, the rest will follow. So Inside here, let's see, this is about my son's test, yes. So, we found out that he passed his test, the MOS test, on the first go-round, which, you know, is um, quite impressive in my opinion. Uh, there are some people that take up to four tries to pass the test, so I was so thrilled. We were just thrilled. And then that day, too, let's see what else. Um, I had completed my second zine, which I still have to send out. Oh my gosh. This was back on August 2nd. I had completed it, I think. And now it's the middle of September and, or toward the end of September. And I still haven't sent them all out. Anywho. So I finally finished that. So I was glad for that. My son, it was funny because my son had come in late that night and he like kind of burst in the door and so I kind of jumped in bed. My husband was snoring away. He came bursting in and he was like, mom, mom. And of course I'm worried, you know, like I'm thinking something's wrong. So I quietly, so as not to wake big handsome, I quietly went out into the hallway and I says, everything okay? He says, I passed, I passed the test. So he was so proud of himself and we are so proud of him. So the next step for him was the interview. So we were going to um, await that date. And then this here shows my daughter and I at my desk. I know it's like kind of wonky, but anyway, it's another little flippy do. So it says like mother, like daughter. And we had taken Beauty Queen to Michael's to pick out some planner stickers. So um, that's what my son ended up giving my, um, my daughter, his sister, obviously ended up getting some Mambi stickers. So we did that and that was fun. And then this flippy do, oh, I received another zine from Jack, Jacqueline and it was, uh, yeah, she had sent some goodies too. So that was really, really sweet. Um, and here's her sweet little note in there. And then don't worry, be yappy. So my pups, because you know how they can yap. Um, and then the next day, <clears throat> excuse me, there's Fred. Um, oh my gosh, more dang implants. Oh, my husband has been going through, I, I said it some other time as well. He's been going through dental work for, oh my gosh, a long time, the last 10 years. And, um, it's all due to his, uh, chronic illness that we still have yet to figure out what the problem is. So yeah. Um, I had to take him to his prosthodontist and um, I had spent all morning copying and folding and doing the cutting and all of that on the zine. So when I got to the dentist office, I was able just to sit and get them all put together and folded and all of that while he um, was in his appointment. And then the poor thing, I mean, he, he got home and he slept for 12 hours. So... Yeah, I really wish someone would find out what the hell's wrong with him because it's just, it's insanity, I'll tell you what. And this was my poor husband's brain on drugs because he was out of it. Oh my gosh, he didn't even know what day it was. It was, it was terrible. Um, and then I had received another lovely zine from Sherry and along with um, 
the sweet stamped card. This one right here, so beautiful. So I tipped that in. Um, and some butterfly cutouts. Yeah, so it was really thoughtful of her to think of me. And then this day here, let me just check and see if there are any dates on here or uh, addresses. Okay, nope. All right, so here we go. So this, I hope it's not glary. This is actually my one of my most fa favorite paintings uh, by Surratt. And I just, I love it. And so my girlfriend, a Facebook friend, uh, had sent it to me. She had seen it, thought of me. She knew that Surratt, uh, this particular painting is one of my favorites. So she sent me a sweet postcard and I just loved it. So, ah, uh, Surratt. So, yeah. So that day I received the lovely postcard from my friend Linda. And... Oh, it was because I had mentioned something on a Facebook post of hers. And so, yeah, the next thing I knew, she sent me a postcard. So absolutely sweet of her. And then, excuse me, here comes Fred again. <clears throat> I am so sorry. Golly day. This is a photocopy of a zine, um, my zine number four, my zine holder number four. So um, to this date, I had 32 zines already. So I had four books made and I just love them. And yes, one day I am going to do a flip through of all the beautiful zines that people have sent me. Um, and let's see. Uh, what else? So I sent out eight of my volume twos that day as well. I did the laundry and then we headed south to check on the houses and hopefully relax. Uh, that was a Friday. So then this day here, we went out shopping. Um, yeah, we really just did it to get out of the house because none of us were, neither one of us were really feeling all that well. So, yeah, I love that my husband is such a great bargain shopper. Oh, my gosh. He likes shopping. I do not. So, um, I just go with him. But, um, yeah, he found a nice pair of dress pants for Sunshine's upcoming interview. So, yeah, I mean, hello. They're regularly $58 for these pants because they're Dockers. And my husband found them for 15 bucks. So, he's so good at that. Um, and then... I found, oh, I went to the library and I found a collection of short stories by Hemingway um, or of Hemingway. And it's one of Beauty Queen's favorite authors. So I picked that up for her. And while we were out to, I found some zebra pens. And so I was happy about that. I found them like at the dollar, not Dollar Tree. I found them at Dollar General, I think. And they were packs of two pens for like a buck, you know. So these are the colors that I got. And then um, I did get some elastics, some little hair elastics for my zine holders. So I did that. And then this day was my sweet daughter's 21st birthday. So we were so excited to celebrate with her. Um, you know, we told her that we'd take her wherever she wanted to go and she had her heart set on mimosas and brunch. So we went to, let me scoot this over. We went to, um, a place called George's on sunset and George actually, I didn't know this till later, but George is the one who actually sat us or seated us and, it was really a lot of fun. So we had our mimosas together and here is a picture of my lovely family and my beautiful daughter and her boyfriend. And let's see what's over here. Um, my beautiful, beautiful, big handsome and my lovely sunshine. So yeah, we got some really great pictures. And then we also, while we were out, um, my son needed shoes for his interview. So Yep, so we got him all situated with interview clothing and shoes. Uh, and now, at this point, we were just awaiting the, the date of the interview. So we celebrated my daughter's birthday, and um, we had really a lot of fun together as a family. And she really enjoyed it. It was a really cute place. The food was really good. Um, the atmosphere was hopping. Let me tell you what, I'm my husband and I aren't really used to that. <laughs> We're quiet folk. Um, and so, yeah, it, it was 
it was quite the atmosphere, but it was really fun. It was a very trendy place uh, up in the city, so it was really nice, and we had a great time. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's Fred. Ugh. And then I'll probably just stop here. So on this day here, um, let's see. It was a Monday. It was a regular old Monday for me. Got my coffee, checked my email, responded to YouTube. Of course, talked to my grandmother. Um, I worked on my Jot Journal and my Fobonichi and... Oh, found out my poor cousin was back in the hospital again with a blood clot. She's just had such a hard time of it. Um, she had been battling cancer for a year and a half, and they didn't even know what kind of cancer it was. It was a tumor that could not be removed easily. And, um, yeah, so I was just so sad and praying for her as she was in the hospital yet again. Uh, these are just some bookmarks that I had gotten when I was at the library um, and then we just had easy teriyaki, teriyaki chicken and rice for dinner and we watched the, the Sopranos. So yeah. And then I went to bed, um, you know, watching YouTube. So that was the end of that. And I'll leave y'all here and I'll thank you for sharing your time with me and, um, yeah, have a great rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.